The barbell is a tool, not just a toy. You can get so much more value out of it than just squat, hinge, push, pull. And even if that is all that you do, you can broaden those movements infinitely. Think about real world strength. You can almost never choose an optimal grip. You almost can never choose an optimal stance. You almost can never choose an optimal application of the load, like where the load is relative to your center of mass. You usually just have to grab the thing wherever there's space for your fingers and place the load in front of you, but not too high so that you can see, but not too low that it's dragging on the ground. Whatever the thing is that you're trying to lift and move, you get my point. And I get just as much as anybody that the barbell isn't a real life thing. And for many of us, it's still just a toy that we like to use to lift weights with. But doing things like Zercher deadlifts, one arm anyhows, two arm barbell suitcase carries, Steinborn squats, these things actually share some common characteristics with having to demonstrate real world strength that you kind of just have to somehow get the weight up and find advantageous leverages without things being in complete balance with your center of mass. Doing exercises that deviate from the familiar and repeatable movement patterns provide very valuable training applications. My in-laws have a lake cabin and last summer there was a storm and a bunch of trees fell in the yard. So we had to do some cleanup. How do we move all the trees and the big branches? And obviously we had a chainsaw and other tools to make things easier. We still had to move huge sections of tree logs. Picking up large sections of tree logs looked like Zercher deadlifts. You had to get low, get your forearms under the tree log and stand up with it. Then carrying it to the truck looked like a Zercher carry. With other big branches that were peeling off the trees, we kind of had to Zercher Steinborn squat it to lower it down. Some branches were like four and a half feet high, but you had to lift and shift them over other branches to get them untangled. So it's kind of like an overhead press, but you can only fit one arm in the slot. You basically have to do a bent press because you have to lean to the side as you're pressing up. So anyways, the point is that you can actually train real world strength, even with just a barbell. And you're probably already training with a barbell anyways. If you want real world strength, it's not like you're going to actually go out and lift logs and lift furniture and other things like that. And if you are using a barbell and think of it as a toy, that's awesome. Just keep getting creative.